Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Today's story is A Boy with a Sling, the story of David and Goliath. It comes from 1 Samuel chapter 16 through 18. It's written by Mary Warren, and it is illustrated by Sally Matthews. Long before Mary or Joseph or Jesus were born, God said to Samuel, his prophet, Put oil in your horn and go now and find the Bethlehem boy I have in mind to be king with of my people some day. It was to the home of Jesse that Samuel went. After meeting and greeting his sons, he asked, Are there more? And so Jesse sent to the fields for his youngest, David, the shepherd boy, handsome and strong. God said to Samuel, You are looking for one to be king. This is he. Take holy oil. Anoint him for me. I'm putting the oil on David's head. Nobody knew except God and his holy man, Samuel, what this would do. Alone in the hills, he had to keep lions and bears from stealing his sheep. And the Spirit of God gave him such courage and might that the wildest of creatures he dared to fight. There was at this time a long war. The Philistine army and the Israelites under King Saul camped on two mountains. Each morning, a Philistine giant, Goliath of Gath, came down in the valley of Eli to call, Is any man there who will fight against me? I shall chop off his head and cut up his body like bread to toss him to the beasts and the birds. Who will dare? Goliath the giant put fear in each Israelite's heart. With his shout, his brass armor clinked, his long spear made even the bravest men doubt that any could fight him and win. One day the shepherd boy David came with cheese and some bread for his brothers, who fought in Saul's army like the others they ran when Goliath came down. When David saw this, he said with a frown, Goliath makes fun of our God. Does no one believe that the Lord takes care of his armies in need? I will fight this giant myself. King Saul heard of David's brave words. He sent for the boy and he smiled. You are hardly more than a child. Goliath knows all about war. What are you offering for? said David, out in the field, when either a lion or bear tried to steal my father's young sheep, my God helped me fight with him there. I know in this battle, God will shield and deliver me still. Saul put on his armor, Saul put his armor on David. There was a coat of mail, my helmet, my very own sword, Go in the name of the Lord. But Saul's armor was heavy. He fell. I cannot wear them, O king. I will use only a sling. With his sling and his shepherd's crook, David stopped to search at the brook for some stones. With these in his bag, he went on to the place where Goliath of Gath made the Israelites tremble in fear. Who is there, roared Goliath. His shield-bearer stood before him, but he was still able to see. David, the shepherd boy, with a sneer and a laugh, what was cruel, Goliath, drew near. Why do you pick such a boy for this fight? I am not a dog to be chased with sticks. Come, and I will throw all your bones to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David reached for his stone. Your spear is sharp and long and strong. Your shield is great and heavy, too. There is one reason that I came out. You mocked the Lord, and in his name I have power to conquer you. 
David's hand dipped into his bag. Before Goliath had time to see, he put the stone in his sling and phew, it hit the Philistine in the head. He staggered, then fell forward. Goliath was dead. David ran with his glorious shout and took the giant's heavy sword and cut off his head. Soon the word spread through the Philistine camp. The men raced hard to get away, but the Israelites were close behind and many Philistines died that day. Triumphantly, they marched to bring the battle good news in Goliath's head to Saul, the waiting king, who said, Your strength from God, O David, wins. Israel is victory. My army needs such bravery. From that day on, young David stayed at court with Saul, who knew he'd need a captain who was strong to lead his men in other battles too. This army training helped him grow to be in time God's chosen king, he who once had been a boy who killed the giant with a sling. Just as God is with, was with David, he promises to be with you and me, that he will be our strength, and no matter how big we think our troubles look, he will be the one who will defeat our troubles for us. That's what Jesus did when he came. He suffered and died and rose again and defeated sin and death and the power of the devil so that we could live with him forever in heaven. May God bless you today.